Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video is based on NetApp KB ID 2015003. We will discuss about the error could not change epsilon of specified node SL epsilon error code 36. To change the epsilon settings on a cluster, we need to be logged in in advanced privilege mode. To enter advanced privilege mode, run set ADV. Press Y for yes. Now we are in the advanced privilege mode. To check the current epsilon settings, run cluster show. Here we see that the node 1 is the epsilon node. Now let's try changing the epsilon to node number 2. To change the epsilon, run cluster modify hyphen node, the node name, hyphen epsilon and then true. Here we see that we get an error saying that the epsilon for the specified node could not be changed. The reason being only one node can be an epsilon at any given point of time. To resolve the error, we first need to disable the epsilon on the existing node. To disable the epsilon on node 1, run cluster modify hyphen node, the node name hyphen epsilon and then false. Now when we run cluster show, we will see that there is no epsilon at this point of time. Now we can go ahead and select the epsilon node. To make node 2 as the epsilon node, I'll run cluster modify hyphen node, the node name hyphen epsilon and then true. Now when I run the cluster show, I'll see that the node 2 is acting as the epsilon node. Another way to fix this problem is to make the eligibility of the node as false. Please note that making the eligibility as false will make the node's data inaccessible. This is only recommended when the node in question needs maintenance. To change the eligibility of the node, you can run cluster modify hyphen node, the node name hyphen eligibility false. When you make the eligibility as false, the node would no longer be serving any data. Press Y to continue. Now when we check the epsilon status, we would see that it would have moved to the next healthy node, in this case being node 1. For more information, refer NetApp KBID 2015003. Thank you.